Hey, Shalom, Israel, most high Christ bless. Captain Abaziah here. Sister here, what's your name, sir? My name is Marilyn Pitts. It's Marilyn Pitts. She's going to tell about her experience here at camp. She was at camp for like, what, two hours you were standing here? Yes, I've been standing here two hours. Tell us what you told her at camp. I learned a lot, but I learned that church, going to church, you ain't got to go to church. Church is, church is the day, you know, standing up here. You know, I learned that you, from now on, you like long dresses yeah, with your hair, your hair covered, something like that, with your lady with her arm they cover. Everything is going to be covered. So let me ask you a question, sis. Did anything that we brought out today, did it sound like we're a hate group? No, you all, you, you all tell the truth. Uh, for, for a church, it's too with me. I don't go to church no more. I got to get a ride to come to you all, to see you to, to come to y'all every Saturday because I'm not going to church on Sundays. Was, was, I went to church. I go to church every Sunday. You know, and I put money in there. Yeah. Money in there. Everybody, everybody talking about you and stuff like that. But I. Now I think out what you all talk about. When I used to come back and forth and see y'all, I used to just I listen to it. Just, I'm gonna say stand right there. Just, I listen and I learned a lot. And I got a lot to tell my grandchildren. Yes. Y'all need to do this over there where I stay. I wish you all could just stand up there while over there while I stay because I stay right there. And it's uh in, in, in my apartments where I stay at. That's just Mexico. It's just about 12 blacks, right? But they, they're good, you know. It's a hit my head. All praise to both sides. All right, take care. When you be done repenting so many times, how many times do God forgive you? Can you answer that? Like you done be done did so much so bad stuff. How many, how many times does God forgive you? Can you answer that? But don't you go to hell? Give, give me Isaiah one second. Five. Sis, it says, says, are we going to go to hell? Yeah, listen. because you done did so many killings. Sis, stuff. listen. We in hell right now. That's it's right. Hell here. The captivity is hell. That's what the Bible says. I want you to hear something. Read. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So, the Bible says, the Bible says, our people are going into captivity. We went into captivity in 1619 when they got us from the west coast of Africa and brought us here, okay? Now, our, our Hispanic brothers got into slavery in 1492 under Christopher Columbus and the conquistadors. Listen close, read it again. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. We went into captivity as a nation. Read. Because they have no knowledge. Why do we go into captivity? Because they have no knowledge. So the Bible says we don't have no knowledge. What's the knowledge? The knowledge of God's laws. That's your right. culture, your heritage, your language, what holidays you, you keep. You understand? Those things are your heritage. What foods do we eat? We don't have it. We lost our identity. We wanted to follow Esau. We wanted to follow this guy here. White Jesus. We want to follow that thing. We want to follow the heathens and their religions. You want to say it? So read it again. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Read. And their honorable men are famished. The Bible says our honorable men, our leaders are famished. They, they're of no use. The black leader in America today, today is of no use. They up. accomplish nothing for our people. Right. Obama didn't accomplish nothing but turn us into sodomites and homosexuals. That's Al right. Sharpton hasn't accomplished nothing. Jesse Jackson, what have these men accomplished for you? Bring it up. Nothing. Bring it up. Bring it up. And their multitude dried up with thirst. And guess who the multitude is? Y'all are the multitude following those black leaders. You dried up. You're thirsty. You're lacking. You're wanting. You're in the hood. Read. Therefore, so because you went into captivity, hell hath enlarged herself. So what is captivity? Hell hath enlarged herself. That's what is right. captivity? Hell hath enlarged herself. Yeah, that sister. So that's what hell is. Hell is to your condition on the earth right now. That's you right. You, your grandmother. Guess what? Your grandbabies may be shot down in the streets one day. That's hell. Right. Right. Your sons, your daughters. You understand? Those things happen by the cops and each other. You understand? So this is hell right here. Read the top of 12 again. 
of 13. Verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Read the top of 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. So what is hell? This is hell. Which is what? It's our captivity. Captivity. That's right. You understand? With us being at the bottom, we're in hell. We're not in rulership. Do we pass any laws here? What laws do we pass here? No. What did Obama do? Anybody, did you vote for Obama? Yes, I did. You vote for Obama? Yeah, I did. What about you, sis? No. Why you didn't vote for Obama? What's wrong with you? I can't vote. You, oh, okay, okay. What about you, brother? You vote for Obama? Okay. I didn't want to vote for Trump. I didn't vote uh, for Trump. You want to vote for Hillary? No. I'm vote for Trump. Bernie Sanders? Hillary. Hillary. You vote for Hillary? Yeah. Now, come here, sis. I want y'all to hear something real, real good. Bring it out! In the 1990s, under Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton pushed a bill, a crime bill, to get all your sons locked up in jail. Did she not? Yeah. You don't know that, sister? Know you know that, don't you? You remember they used to, remember Hillary Clinton was calling your sons super presidents. That's right. Yo, you, remember that? you remember that, don't you? Hey, guess what you did? You went and voted for her. You went and voted for your slave master, Jose. And I got two oh, children. Know? I have two children in jail. Say it again. I have two children in jail for guess life. What? Guess what? Who's trying to hear something close? Listen close. Can you trust in the same system that made you a slave, that made your forefathers and foremothers slaves, now they're going to give you the opportunity to vote them out of power? Does that make sense? Nope. Does that make sense, sister? Does that make sense? Exactly. So what's the point? You're more you're, you're, you're like a, a Ferris wheel, man. A, a, what, what do you call that? A mouse wheel? Or a mouse on a wheel. You're just going in circles, man. You gotta come back to the law of God. You understand? So uh, for, for, uh, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it out the Bible. We can listen to what the Bible says. Bring it out. Bring it out. Hosea chapter eight verse three. Bring it out. Israel hath cast off the thing that is good. You hear that? Y'all cast off the thing that is good. What's good is God's laws. That's right. That's what's good. Thou shalt not kill. Don't steal. Don't commit adultery. Don't commit fornication. Those are the things that's good. Don't slander your neighbor. Those are the things that's good, but no, you rather, let me just vote it out, vote my way out. Now, you know what you do? You know what y'all pe people do? Now they want to go hug it out with the, with the white supremacists in Charlottesville. They want to hug them and hug it out. You don't want the Lord God, you want to hug. Our people are sick as hell. That's what y'all got to realize. We're, we're sick people. Read. Israel has, has cast off the thing that is good. The right. enemy shall pursue him. The enemy shall pursue him. Guess what? Esau pursued us. They pursued us and put us in slavery and changed our identity. Because guess what? Like the brother said, what's your identity, sis? Who are you on the earth today? Me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what's your name? What's your name? Gentile. I'm a Gentile. You're a Gentile. Are you sure about that? Who told you that you're a Gentile? <laughs> See, that's the trickery of this guy right here, sister. You ain't no Gentile. You're royalty. That's what we here to tell you. You're royalty. This guy told you a damn Gentile. You ain't no Gentile. That's right. We're royalty. You understand? What's your identity? Son of God. Prove it. See, see the confusion, brother? What is your nationality? I'm asking you. I'm black. You black? Right? You look awful? What color is your pants, sis? I'm on that top line right there. What color is your skin? It's brown. Oh, then there's a problem. Are you sure you're black? I thought your pants was black. I thought your, your purse was black. You look awfully brown to me. Brown. You understand? Know See the problem? Okay, so what's, so what's, my, so what's, what's my identity? Look, look on that sign. Are you African American? Yeah. You're from the tribe of Judah. Guess who else is from the tribe of Judah? Jesus the Christ was from the tribe of Judah. The greatest man to walk the earth had your blood running through it. That's royalty, man. But they took your they took your God in slavery and gave you this guy. They gave our forefathers this guy. And guess what? Who go to church? You go to church. Guess what you're going to be doing in church? Praising and worshiping him. You see that? So what do you, what do you got to do? You know it's a lie. I go to church and I put money in church. I go to church every Sunday and if they got to say I did Now we getting something. Now we getting something. Read on. Give me, give me the law real quick. No, no. Fish Hosea 8, 3. Hosea chapter 8, verse 3. Israel yeah. have cast off the thing that is good. The enemy shall pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me. Uh-oh. What, what, what did our people do? They have set up kings, 
or presidents, but not by me. Ain't that what our people do by voting? Because guess what? Most I ain't set Obama up. Most I didn't set Donald Trump up. You did that. You went after that and voted for, for Trump, for Hillary, for this one, for that one, Bush, Clinton. They're all the damn devil. That's right. They're all the damn devil, and they all keep you oppressed. Go to go to the law. Seventeen. Deuteronomy seventeen. Now let's get the law. Let's see what the Bible says about voting. Okay, because we're not supposed to be voting. What has voting done for us? Somebody, give me give me an answer. So what has voting done for the black man in America? Nothing. Has it done anything, sister? Has uh, voting done us any good? Are we still in the hood? Are we still killing each other? Wait a Are we still selling drugs to each other? Yes, You're trying to say that what Martin Luther King did was in vain then? Let's yeah. find out. Bring it out! We'll find out, sister. Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Who what? Say that again. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, or president, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Who did God choose to be king over you? Who did God choose? Jesus. Thank you, sister. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. He chose Jesus the Christ. Did he choose Obama? No. no. Did he choose Bush? No. What about Trump? No. Exactly. What's he he said? chose Jesus the Christ. What about he said, as you, you, said, you see Jesus, you see thy father. Now, see the father, you see my There's one. There's one. Listen close. Listen close. One from among thy brethren. Uh-oh. The person that you, if you do choose, has to be what? One from among thy brethren. What about Hillary Clinton? She's a ca Caucasian, right? One from among thy brethren. The Bible says, if you choose a king over you, it has to be what? One from among thy brethren. So can you vote for Hillary Clinton? I don't vote for nobody. Can you vote for Hillary Clinton? Nobody should vote for, vote for nobody. Can you vote for Hillary Clinton, system? The first one we just read? That's right. 100% correct. We're not supposed to be voting. You know what we're supposed to be doing? We should be learning how to love each other. Nobody and learning how not to kill each other. We're going to be going through what we're going through right now. Why? Because it's voting. All this voting stuff. We want to be going through what we're going through right now. Very you know? Good. Because guess what? By voting, what do we do? We're trusting in the same system that made us a slave. Amen. 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 The same enemy that they're gonna give us a chance that, that they're gonna deal righteously with Elijah's us. Elijah's gonna go back Elijah's back. Elijah's back. Elijah's listen, back. Listen, back. Listen, listen, listen. You cannot be civil. You cannot expect being civil from an uncivilized people. That's right. They're an uncivilized people, man. We're the ones that civilized them as the Moors. We civilized them, taught them how to take a damn bath. Now they telling you how to vote. But wait a minute. Did, um, did the white man establish America by voting? No. no. Did he vote his way into power here? No, he did not did, did he, did he sister? What did he do here? What did, what did the conquistadors and Christopher Columbus do when they got here? Did they vote to get this land? How they took it? Murder. By murder. murder. That's right. 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 Pillage. They, they enslaved our hey. brothers and sisters and said, you know what? After a while, let them niggas vote. Man, we would give them the illusion that they could vote. That makes us, you know, what, let me ask y'all a question. What's, what would be more beneficial for Esau, the white man? Would it be beneficial to have an angry slave or a happy slave that feels that he's free? Happy slave. What do you think, sis? Exactly, a happy slave. That's what we have today. Happy slaves, not even mad at their condition. We got our old men selling cigarettes. We got our, we got our sisters smoking cigarettes. We got our sisters dressed out of order. You understand? This is all due to you trusting in oppression. Give me that. Trust in no oppression. Are we going back to slavery? You're in slavery now. I know, I said. Are oh, we going back? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Now, have you ever heard, sis, you said you go to church. Yes, I do. Have you ever heard these scriptures in church? No, not, not ever. Why do you think you never heard those in church? They're in the Bible. You see the problem? Oh, I've Your never heard them. It's of the devil. That's He's right. He's telling you what the Bible's really saying. You understand? Know He's got you in manly pants. He's got our women smoking cigarettes, being whores, whoremongers. Bless you. Don't go to church. Don't go to church. 
Church. Here's the difference, sister. We're about God's law. Because guess what? You ever read this Bible? Okay. Now, in this Bible, I said 312. In this Bible, right? Why were the Israelites, which is you, why were they always in slavery? Because they was always under yeah. another nation. In the Jews world. Yeah, why? You didn't obey the law. Ah! That's so what right. are we teaching here? To go back to the Lord with faith in Christ. Oh, that's we right. teach it. So guess what? By teaching that, guess what can happen for us? We could get off the bottom of society. We can learn to change the mindset and stop killing each other. We can learn to have our own business where we ain't got to support the East Indian man business. That's right. You understand? That could make us a better people, a moral people. Because today we don't have no damn moral. We don't live by no moral code. Every man does whatever the hell he wants. But we're all the same people. You understand? Read. Don't go to church. Don't go to church. church Guess what? Church. church on Sunday is of the devil. That's Right. Church is on Saturday, sister. That's the Sabbath day. What day is the Sabbath day? You know what? What day is the Sabbath day? What day? Today. Thank you. But you go to church when? Tomorrow, right? Sunday. Is, so is that a lie? Correct? I won't go tomorrow. Is that, is that correct? Right. Ain't that a lie then? It's a lie. It's a lie, sister. Is this, guy, is this guy in your church? You have a picture of white, a white man in your church? This guy right here. No. Well, well what, have I ever pictured a white man in the yeah. church? Yeah, I'm seeing in the yeah, black exactly. church. The Bible says Christ is a black man according to God, huh? Yes, right! What day did I have church? Yeah, right. Church right now, sister. Uh, so church is never... No. The back of the flyer, you see an address. Our, our number's on the back, and our address is on the back. But listen close. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12. Listen close. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, our people despise God's word. Listen, listen, brother, listen. Our people despise God's word. They, look, they got one, two, three, four. Everybody else don't give a damn about God's word. Five. Nobody else give a damn. Right? But read it again. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression. What do our people do? Trust in oppression. What do our people do? Trust in oppression. How do we trust in oppression? You go vote. You vote for Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Bring it She's up. a damn feminist. What do you know about Hillary Clinton, sis? I'm gonna tell you something you probably don't know about Hillary Clinton. Let me tell you. Bring it up. Guess who one of her role models is? I played Obama. Obama. Who's one of Hillary Clinton's role models? She praises a, a certain woman. Anybody know? Anybody heard of Margaret Sanger? Bring it up. Oh. You know the single? She was the one that uh, made it the abortion. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. She, she the one that made she us. Was, she she was the cut player and made us start the abortion thing. Yes. And start killing our and how did she do it? How did Smoker Sanger do it? By making uh, uh by she making got the black the preacher black, in the, the neighborhood to right. start teaching it in the church. And made the and women now start all women go do abortion. Yes. And Hillary Clinton loves that woman. What? You understand? Hillary Clinton is not your people and she's not for your people. You understand? Yes. Sis? Bring it out! She's a feminist devil demon. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's what she is. Read really it again. Right. right. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel. Hey, one last thing about your, your, your Hillary Clinton here. What is what did the Clintons do in Haiti? Bring it out! Bring it out! Go a little further with yeah. What did she do in Haiti? She collected a whole lot of money during that hurricane, correct? Remember that? Yeah. And to build houses. He collected billions of dollars to build houses. How many houses for the Haitian people did the Clintons build? No. Uh, no. One! They built one house for millions of people in Haiti. Where did the money go? Into the Clintons Hotel. Get up! The shores. Uh -huh, oh, y'all didn't know that, huh? Y'all gotta start paying attention to their views. Yeah. What about Haiti Clinton's brother? And you know about Henry Clinton's bro brother? Bill, Bill Clinton's brother, I think. No, Henry Clinton's brother. Why is he in charge of the diamond mines in Haiti? Bring it up! What is he doing? What are these Edomites doing in Haiti that you vote for? They're destroying your people, sister. That's what they're doing. They're That's destroying right. your people and taking the resources. That's what they do. Don't take my word for it. Go research it. Go see if I'm lying. Bring it up! Bring it Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. And what? 
and stay there on. And we love it so. We love to stay right there in the church on Sunday. We love to believe in a white Jesus. We love to vote for Hillary Clinton and act like she's so glorious when she called our son super predators. You understand that, sis? Give me Revelation 1.14. Jesus rose. He rose. Yo, bring it out. So, Say it again. Oh, man. Nah, this is the... Listen, listen, sis. You got this guy in your head. Everybody go to church and show their clothes out on Easter Sunday. That's tradition. That's called paganism. That's right. Bring it out. You understand? Easter is pagan. Easter's after another God called Ishtar. That's paganism. Did Christ celebrate Easter, sis? Yes. No, well, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to church. I don't know. How long you been going to church? Huh? I've been going to church. I go to Al Jumper. How long have you been going? All your life. Church, I've been, been going to church all my life. All my life. But I haven't been going recently because of my aunt. Okay. Well, good. Hey, the Lord just showed you something with your aunt. God been with me. The Lord is telling you to stay the hell out that church. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. He's coming for you, sis, if you go back to that church. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been back. I all haven't been back. So what did Christ celebrate? Give me that. What did Christ celebrate? The Passover. The, uh, uh, Passover. What did Christ celebrate? John 10, 22. What did Christ celebrate? Okay. What did Christ celebrate, sis? Do you, do, it, does, does the church you go to, do they do things after Jesus the Christ? No, they don't. So why are you going They to take your church? money, really, I know that. Sis, so right, let me right. ask you a question, sis. So what you're telling me right now is you know, deep, hold on, you know deep in your heart, your church has been lying to you. Am yeah. I right? Yeah, I, I know that. I, You know, and then they, the church, they look at you like, like they got good clothes on, and you ain't got them to talk about you. Uh, I haven't been to church in a while now. Yeah. I'm telling you guess now. What? Well, now that you're, you they talk about for a you. While, guess what you can do? You can open your eyes I and stay see. Home. Well, listen, That's listen, right. listen. Now you can open your eyes and see what's been going on in the church. Now that you're not going, but no. when you're there, you're around the, the the aura, the 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 environment. You get sucked in. Now that you're out, you can look from the outside looking in like, that's what the, that's what this is all about. It's that's about, right. it's that's about right taking our money and keeping us at the bottom. That's Your right. pastor that's is right. a hireling. That's what he is, a devil. Read. John chapter 10, verse 22. So let's see what Christ celebrated. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication. Says, did you catch that or are you talking? You caught that? Uh, you know what the Bible, what the Bible say? No, Read again. Let's see what Christ celebrated. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. So guess what? Christ kept the feast of dedication. You keep the feast of dedication? You do? How do you keep the feast of dedication? What is that? The feast of dedication what is, yeah. is being nice to people, uh, uh, just speaking nicely and tending to your own business. No. The Feast of Dedication is in a book called the Apocrypha that your enemy that gave you Christianity took out of the Bible. Yes, right! That's what it is. It's a feast. It's a feast day. It's a holiday. Bring it on! You understand? It's a holiday. When these when these demons destroyed our temple and we went in there as the Maccabees and got it back, we rededicated the temple. Yes, right. That's right. Feast of Dedication. But I wouldn't yeah. go to church when I broke my arm. Now, okay, okay. I, I wouldn't go to church. I stopped going to church. But what I'm showing you is your church doesn't teach what the Bible teaches. What, what That's right. Did. You understand? Right. So we got, stay give me home. First John 2 and 6. No, look, look on the back of that flyer. We gather right right in Jonesboro, Georgia. That's where you belong. In Jonesboro, Georgia, you, keeping the Sabbath day. That's second, right. So you got a question? Well, you can, how can you sit here and say that every church does not teach you what the Bible teaches? They don't. <laughs> no, that, no that, that is not true. Okay, good. Tell me, tell me, sis. Tell that me. is not true. There are, there are, well, which church, which church does, sis? Which church does? If you don't take time out and read the Bible for yourself, you'll be all for it. Take time out and read the Bible for yourself. Then you know. Okay, well, let me ask you a question about your church. Read this Bible yourself. here. They teach the Bible, right? Yeah, read it for yourself. Show me in this Bible your nationality. If they teaching you the Bible, where's your nationality in this Bible? Give me Nehemiah 13 and 1. You see, you see the problem, sis? What do you mean by nationality in the Bible? Because there's 18 nations in this book. We can't put the book into proper context until we know who we are in the book. Because the book is about nations, sis. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to give you salvation. Salvation is for y'all. Uh -huh. That's what we're trying to tell you. This book is about so how you. many nations in the Bible then? 18. Listen to this. No, let's see what the Bible says. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 1. Bring it out! On that day, they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people. 
and therein was found written. So they found something written. Sister, sis, listen, listen. They found something written in the book of, in the book of, uh, of Moses. Go ahead. That the Ammonites, that the Ammonites, that's one nation, and the Moabites, that's another nation. We're talking about two nations, should not come into the congregation of God forever. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. So when you read something like that, that two nations are not gonna get the kingdom ever. That's what God said. So wait a minute. How do you know none of y'all come from those two nations? Tell me. I don't. Exactly. That's why you gotta find out who you are in the book. That's right. right. Because you could be doing everything for in vain, and you could fit one of these two nations. The nation of Judah. The nation of Israel from the tribe of Judah. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> Read. Hey, him, no, go, now go to Deuteronomy. So now, the brother's going to prove to you your nationality in the Bible, okay? So now, hey, brother, she, wanted, she wants to listen. Be quiet. Be quiet. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. But we're going to wash your brain with the word of God. That's what we're going to do. Give her the law, brother. We you gonna give her your garbage. Do you you hold us on the street. You you yeah, reject the law. I, 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 I Proverbs said, I don't 13 and 13. Keep reading it and see. Proverbs 13 and 13. Listen to them too. It doesn't make sense. What he's saying is make Be sense. Be quiet, brother. You get no wins here. You keep Proverbs saying 13 make and 13. Sense if you want to. Because guess what? Read the Bible yourself. You're an old demon, man. Man, Stop no being demon. a devil. I ain't no more fucking demon. Uh, demon. See that? Look at your language, look. brother. Be quiet. No, you're you're old, right, you know what you are? You're an old boy. You ain't grown up yet. Jesus Grow said, up. Jesus said one Read. thing. Read. Proverbs Read. chapter 13. Read. Sis, sis, Read. one second. Listen. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. That's what our brothers do. We destroy people. We are destroyed today. Our brothers are destroyed. They're grown boys. They don't act like men. If the brother act like a man, he would help clean up this neighborhood. That's Why is he mad at us instead of the drug dealers over there? Go help, go clean up the drug dealers down there. Why are you not cleaning up? You talking about it? I am. I am. I'm cleaning them up right here. God's word is cleaning them up right here. I am. I'm cleaning them up right here. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. So now let the brother teach you about your nationality. Who you are on the earth. Destroyed. Because you're black and God. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.